Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Monday, July 29th, 2024. Welcome back to yet another vlog, guys. Hopefully, you all having a great day. I already went ahead and got all the levels marked out here for SPY, QQQ, IWM, and also AMD. Went ahead and got that full analysis out to the Discord as well. Um, so yeah, it's about 9 a.m. right now. We're going to absolutely crush and kill the market this week. I just got off work about two hours ago. Um... What we do have planned for this vlog, I'm saying planned, because I just got my car back about two days from getting serviced. I had to get a new starter on it. It wouldn't start. Just got it back, and now um, I think it's like leaking fluid somewhere um, around my engine because um, I don't know if it's my engine smoke. I don't think it's my engine smoking, but something smoking underneath my hood. Um, it happened as soon as I got the car back, like when I was driving to work the same day. Um, started smoking. Hasn't happened the past like day or two. Now it's happening again, and it's never happened ever since I got my car serviced. So I'm going to call them here shortly and let them know what's going on. So with that being said... I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hit the gym today. I'm probably not going to be able to because I'm probably going to have to get it serviced. Um, but yeah, we're going to absolutely crush and kill the market this week. That does suck, but you know what? We're going to crush and kill the market this week, like I just said. My arm is getting tired. Oh my god. But yeah, we're going to have another amazing week this week. We absolutely crushed the market last week. We're going to do the same this week. We're going to go crazy with the Discord. I'm about to go ahead and go over um, the levels with you guys. Um, here in a second. So uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy today's vlog. I'm going to try to make it in as entertaining as possible. We're going to have a good day today, guys. Let's get it in. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and go over the levels very quickly here. It's about 9, 13 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and go over uh, these with you guys very quickly here. And then I have to finish editing this little YouTube video I'm almost done with. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. We are on AMD. And, um... If you guys keep saying, um, someone would like mention that in my, uh, there we go again. In one of my uh, previous videos, he was like, try not to say, um, so much when you speak. And it's like a bad habit. Um, I need, dude, I need to stop doing it. Um, bro, no, nah, I'm cooked. I'm actually cooked. So I'm going to be working on it. I just thought myself there. Uh, uh, oh my God. So yeah, let's go and get right into it. Um, Bro, I, I can't, bro. I'm sorry. I'm going to try my best, but it's just such a bad habit of saying it. So if you guys are new to the channel, this is your first time tuning in. My strategy and a uh, long story short kind of thing consist. Sorry, I'm pausing. I'm trying to stop myself from saying that word. Consist of supply and demand and key levels. So all these red and green boxes you see on my chart are key support and demand levels and all that good stuff i also use vwap as you can see in my chart and i also use key price action in the market all these confluences have to be perfect and come together to form that a plus setup for me to be able to take a trade so we are on the one hour chart i kind of also want to go over these levels so you guys can see how price really really does respect these key levels throughout the day as i pick up the recording throughout market open you guys can see how price really does react and respect these levels throughout the day let's go ahead and go over amd here first um as you guys can see here are all the levels here for amd like i said i also do give these out to my discord every single morning before pre-market i'll actually show you guys the discord here in a second it is completely free i will leave a link to my discord in the youtube description this is amd for y'all let's go ahead and move on to iwm here's iwm for y'all oops here's qqq and last but not least, we got SPY. That's everything there for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you these levels there. Let's go ahead and drag over the Discord, and I'll give you guys a little overview and a little example here on QQQ um, of everything I give out on QQQ, SPY, IWM, and also AMD every single morning. You guys can pause the video here. I also do give out um, call-outs, um, stuff like that when I get into a trade, all that good stuff. We absolutely killed it last week. Like I said, completely free Discord. I will leave a link for this Discord in the YouTube description. I always... Also, do want to mention, if you guys are new to trading, don't feel scared or embarrassed to join the Discord and ask me questions about trading. I would more than I would be more than happy to help you guys get pointed in the right direction and hope you guys help you guys get started with trading because honestly, I love educating about trading and I feel it's something that everybody should have a chance at. But at the end of the day, it's also up to you to put in the work. But uh, let's go ahead and get back on track here. Yeah, um, everything they on QQQ. I um, also usually am and live trading VC giving out call outs. If people want me to join, I'll join. I really haven't been joining 
recently, if I have to be honest, because nobody's really been joining when I'm in there. So if someone asks me to join or you guys want me to join, I'll more than happily join that and be in there with y'all um, and guide y'all through trading. All the good stuff. That's all I basically have to say right now. Um, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated throughout the day um, while market is open. I just said um two times in a row. That's pretty bad. But like I said, I'll be keeping you guys updated throughout the day um, while market is open. If we do get into any trades or see any potential setups, I really hope you guys do enjoy today's vlog. Like I mentioned before, we are going to make this week another good week. We're going to absolutely crush and kill the market this week. Let's stay disciplined to that plan and let's go nuts. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get it. All right, y'all. It is about 10.37 a.m. right now. I have a really unfortunate update for you guys um, and it kind of makes me angry at myself. Um, this was an emotional mistake and honestly a FOMO mistake. I was really about honestly, honest to God, truth to God. I was about one minute away from a 200% plus trade here on IWM. Let me go ahead and tell you guys what I was looking at here on IWM and why I took this L and why I took this entry where I did and what um, I really did to go wrong with this trade. So we were looking bearish on 15 uh, minute time frames, as you can see, very bearish on 15 minute time frames on higher time frames on IWM. With that being said, I dropped down to the one minute time frame. I was looking for an entry and a pullback for puts on IWM, but I thought I was going to get left behind. I kind of FOMO, had that FOMO, I panicked. I got an entry down at here. Literally, I was chasing the bottom of this because I had FOMO and I let the emotions get the best of me. Should have waited for a bounce and then a rejection. I got my entry right here. Like I can literally post a screenshot on Weeble. Um, if I probably will. Um, let me see when I actually took this trade, dude. Let me see when I got that entry. I got that entry at 1021 AM, right? 1021, 1021. Yeah, I got like the worst entry possible, man. I actually chased it all the way down here. Should have waited for a bounce and a rejection. Got an entry at 1021. If I would have waited one or two more minutes and waited for a rejection for a pullback, I literally would have made 200% plus on this trade. It would have been an absolutely beautiful day, a beautiful trade. I'm down about 2% on the account right now, so that's actually going to be it for the day. But key highlights here, FOMO, and I'm letting the emotions get the best of me. Um, if I literally just would have stayed a little bit more patient and followed that plan, like I said, I need to be waiting for a pullback and a bounce and a valid rejection. I would have had an absolutely beautiful day today to start out the week. Um, this is not actually how I wanted to start out the week, obviously, but it is what it is. I know where I went wrong. Um, I made sure of that, um, I actually show you guys, um, I get this idea out to the discord. I told him I was watching these puts. This would have been an absolutely beautiful entry, a beautiful trade. You can go ahead and pause the video here. Um, regardless of that loss, I had the right idea. I just let FOMO and my emotions ruin it. Um, so what it is, what it is for now, I'm obviously done for the day. I honestly might just close the charts, um, get some sleep, go ahead and get, take a shower. Actually probably go ahead and get some sleep. It's unfortunate we have to end the day so early on an L, especially at the beginning of the week. It is what it is. Um, we learned a valuable lesson. Um, all we can do is come back stronger tomorrow and make sure we really understand this loss and what we can do to prevent it and how we can continue to become better traders. Sucks. Keep saying it, but um, it is what it is. It happens. We're back at it tomorrow. We got the whole week to bounce back. I'm not even going to let it get to me like that. Um, and yeah, I'll update you guys throughout the day. I went ahead and called the car place. I have an appointment at 1 p.m. tomorrow. I'm going to be taking my car. And then, so I probably honestly will still drive my car to the gym tonight. Um, I don't really care. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to be hitting legs um, legs and biceps today. So expect that later in the vlog, guys. I'll try to give you guys an update um, as early as I can throughout the day. So I'll update you guys then. I do apologize that I did not give you guys the proper outro that was supposed to be recorded. But with that being said, that is going to be it for this vlog. I'm sorry that these uh, vlogs have been kind of shorter recently. I've kind of just been trading because I've been having a lot of problems with my car. But the gym vlogs and day trading vlogs are coming back very soon. But regardless, thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. If you guys are hearing this now and seeing this now, y'all are some real ones. Can't thank you guys enough for even watching the video and making it to the end. Love and appreciate you guys. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.